Hi, Jeremy Thate with a three minute clinic at Hyperfish HQ. I tweeted about this this week where the Chrome browser can be used to manage multiple identities when you're working with different Office 365 tenants. I do this a lot at Hyperfish where I'm testing for our developers and demoing to customers to show how one person within the organization can have a profile page that's asking for things like sales information. And then when a help desk guy logs in, he can see things like his help desk page number and different things like that. To do this, you could have sessions in Safari and Chrome and Edge and IE and juggle and alt tab around on those things. But I find that Office 365 doesn't work as good in some of those browsers and you get a really good strong experience in Chrome. So what I've decided to do is take on board this Chrome profiles aspect, which in the top right, you can click and select those profiles. And the big part to take into account here is, is that you don't need to have a Google account for every single profile you create. Now, if you set this up on one laptop, you will need to set up these profiles on individual laptops. But the nice part is then when you go to your login screen, you don't have this huge list of Office 365 logins to use. It just shows you whatever login you use for that particular profile. So it's like running an in-private browser, but with the ability to remember passwords and remember the tabs that you have configured so that you can do your demos based on the different identity of hats you wear, depending on which Office 365 tenants you're in, but also what user, which identity you're using within each of those profiles. So this is a quick demo of this. When I'm doing demonstrations with Hyperfish, I often have multiple accounts, such as the Hyperfish demo tenant here, and maybe the um, another MSTN demo environment that was created by MicrosoftOfficeDemos.com. What this allows me to do is create multiple profiles here. So I could do uh, snap to right for this one, snap to left for this one, and do a nice comparison between the two profiles. If I want additional ones, I can simply go into manage people in the top right in Chrome and click add person and just create one. So I can just be like demo profile, pick a call icon, click save, and that will just spin, spin me a new one up. Now it will kind of encourage you to create a Google account. You don't have to. And then from there, if I go to outlook.office365.com, uh, when I log in there, you tell it's going to be prompting me. So I have the ability to have multiple profiles running within one Chrome instance on one Mac. So hopefully this helps. Um, and if you've got any other tips you'd like to share, please ping me on Twitter and we'll get these done in these three-minute clinics.